producer in entertainment. He has multiple projects going, including the highly anticipated TV series about male exotic dancers that I'm not a part of, called All the Queen's Men on BET+. Plus. Of course, it's based on the book of his as well, Ladies' Night, which he wrote. I want to welcome to the show my man, Christian Keys, to BNC. Good morning, Christian. There it is. Go ahead and plug that book. Hey, you got a lot going hey. on. You got a lot to celebrate. Uh, first of all, you celebrated your birthday a couple of days ago. I think it was July 24th. Happy birthday to you, man. How'd you celebrate? What you thank doing? Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, man, I'm, I'm just blessed to uh, to have a lot, of, um, a lot of irons in the fire, so to speak, and for multiple of them to be successful. Um, I appreciate being able to work with the amazing people I get to work with. Um, sometimes you get to employ amazing people. I love that, too. So... It's a blessing, brother. It's a blessing. Yeah, you're a boss now, man. Uh, you're always working, like you said, man. You're acting, behind the scenes now, EP, writing books. And now you got um, the, the trailer. Oh, for all the Queens men, looks bomb. My girl Eva's in that as well. It's uh, based on your, your book that you wrote a couple years ago called Ladies Night. Uh, adapting a movie from a book can be tricky, Christian. How would you make it work so it would be true to the book's pure form? Um, to be honest, just do my best when writing. During the pandemic, I spent probably six or eight months writing episodes and rewriting the episodes, the first eight episodes. And um, and the development team at TPS, Tyler Perry Studios, um, they were amazing as well. It's a, it's a group of, of rock star black women that just know their stuff, you know, and they would give me very specific notes. And even though it was a bit tedious going back over it over and over and over again, um, you also got to trust the team. So they allowed me to, you know, I wrote the first season um, basically almost in its entirety. And it's tough. It's daunting. It's an intimidating task. But it can be done, though. And, and I feel like I hope more people will write that project. You know, the people at home listening and watching now, you'll write that book or you'll write that show or that movie that you really are passionate about because it's it is possible i went to school for social work and i'm out here writing shows uh -huh. and i've been writing movies and shows for 15 years now oh, look at you man you're a boss once again this this is incredible like i know you're really modest and you you always wanted to flag and get the credit to other people that's what i love about you you're a good brother but this is your baby man this is your ep in this this means a lot to you and tyler perry studios once again eva's in it uh, what's that mean mm -hmm. to you, the fact that you're actually EP in the show and not just acting in it? Um, you know what? For me, that was it was more important to get that title created by. You know, Tyler does a lot of his mm -hmm. own shows, mm -hmm. and this is his first time ever really branching out and bringing someone else in to create it. And, um, and he liked the show. And, you know, he liked the pilot. We were in the pandemic, and he was like, well, you know what, man? Why don't you just write the season? The pilot's good. Mm. I said, don't yeah. threaten me with a good time. I'll write it. I will write <laughs> it. So uh, it's, <laughs> it's amazing to be able to do it and to see it through. Eva's amazing. Eva Marcel is amazing in it. The rest of the cast is incredible. And um, I think the joy of being able to help employ uh, up and coming actors as well as existing actors, uh, great actors. So I'm I'm excited to tell the story. I think it's going to be a lot of people's favorite new show. It drops September 9th and it's fire. Yeah, on BET Plus, I'm looking forward to seeing that. I'm just definitely check it out. You're everywhere. Uh, you're you're uh, in one of my favorite shows called The Boys on Amazon. Uh, you're also in um, The Rookie uh, on ABC. And you're about to drop your third book. What's this book going to be about? This one is called uh, Defining Your Ship. It's basically, and I'm not mm. a relationship expert. I can, I'm, I'm just speaking on the things that I've learned in 46 years um, in the dating life and in and out of the industry. And it's, it's basically a comprehensive guide as to how to define your relationship and, and the various ships mm -hmm. and what to expect out of those ships. Um, you know, your association ship, your actual relationship, mm. your situation ship, uh, your mm -hmm. location ship, you know, a relationship or connection based on where you're located at. Is it a presentation mm -hmm. ship where 
you guys post a whole bunch of pretty pictures and, 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 and trip pictures and vacation pictures, but there's not a lot of substance holding it together other than the aesthetics. Um, is it a, and I'm a, I'm a trade lightly on this one, penetration ship? Is it just the physicality? Mm -hmm. um, there's, there's a lot of ships that, that I talk about in there um, and how to decide what you're actually in and what to expect from that and also how to ask the tough questions so you can figure out what you're in there's a lot of fog and gray area and mist in a lot of friendships and connections and how is your communication ship in these in these categories in these ships what's your communication like and again how to really get down to the questions that you need the answers for and i think it's necessary and again it's just me sharing yep. some of my insight, my experience. I think it's helpful, and uh, I'm excited about it. Hey, and I'm excited about it too, reading the book, but I know your skills. You, you're like me when it comes to that one, because you, you're, you're that, that guy that your female friends run to for advice, uh, and you tell it like it is. I actually had you on one of my mm -hmm. shows uh, called What Women Need. I see you on IG. Uh, talking to the ladies, always giving them some advice. So we, we thought here, because we got ladies that watch you and love Christian Keys, good looking dude. So we thought we'd throw out a couple of questions maybe that you can give them a couple of advice, right? Uh, you, you, you up Let's for go. It? Why not? All right. uh, where, do you, where do you stand on, on couples taking a break? If you take a break, can you come back from it? That's risky. That is very risky. Mm. Um... In, in my experience, the person might meet someone else, um, might start to fall mm. for somebody else. The person might start to be involved on several levels with someone else. And you run the risk of not having your same space, your same value, your same level of where you used to be a priority. Now you might not be as much of a priority anymore. I think, mm -hmm. um, I think space is, it could be a good thing, but I also think that uh, if, if your relationship is worth fighting for, then you stay in there and fight for it. As long as it's not toxic, as long as you still have peace, um, which was probably one of the reasons that they wanted to take space in the first place. But hopefully you mm -hmm. have peace, you have friendship, you have the foundation, the good stuff, the goofy stuff, the fun stuff. You guys know each other's habits. It's a, it's a healthy give and take relationship and you guys do the dance well. And hopefully you can avoid taking space because that can be a bad thing yeah. it's not always but it could be the beginning of the end you, you give somebody your space and somebody gonna come back and take that space and like bernie mac said somebody we go on break house in your we spot. go on break yes. <laughs> exactly i got one more for you uh what do you say to your boyfriend who obviously this is a woman saying this who promised to go away with you on your birthday but now can't saying he's got to work. Mm. Um, I would say to her, absolutely, get all the information before making a decision or making an assumption. Things do happen. Um, me personally, mm -hmm. in this industry, my schedule is always in flux. It's always, you know, I have to be fluid. And I, you know, if I'm dating a woman and, and we, you know, we make plans for my birthday or something, and I have to change that because I may be in Toronto or I may be filming in Atlanta or Vancouver or back here in LA filming. And, um, you know, it, it, adulting and adult relationships require <laughs> some patience and communication is the enemy of assumption. So I would say, please do yourself a service, ma'am, and make sure you get all the information before you make an assumption that could be detrimental to your relationship. Um, if he's the person that you chose, if he's the good person that you chose, then maybe his reason is legitimate. And uh, on the other side of that coin, mm -hmm. real quick, if it's if it's a mess and you're certain it's mm -hmm. a mess, then you have a tough mm -hmm. choice to make. And you got a couple of tough questions to ask yourself and him to see whether or not this thing is worth fighting for. And, and, and you know women are just natural born private investigators anyway so they're they gonna check up they're oh gonna find goodness. out yes. if you really tell yeah, from the university of instagram too. they're born that way <laughs> yes. knowing your dm yes. pad your password and instagram twitter everything else <laughs> getting your retina mm -hmm. scan for your phone they do it all 
Christian Keys, my man, I, I, I love you, man. I support you. You're, you're my brother. Uh, and I thank you for hanging out with. I ain't want nothing. I, I just want you to come on here I and just spend some time with me today, man. I ain't want nothing. I appreciate you. <laughs> Be brother. sure to keep an eye out for all the Queens men that debut September 9th on BET Plus. Christian, once again, thank you, my brother. I'll talk to you soon.